chosen ones through my journey i've seen like signs that stood out to me that you're dealing with a narcissistic individual so these signs that i've pointed out might either help you about future encounters with ones to suss them out or it might you might need to suss out someone who's currently in your life but anyway i'll get straight into the list yeah number one on the list yeah is they don't reciprocate what you're saying they move the goalpost this is their manipulation to get things their way and when they feel cornered and what i mean by when they feel cornered is they don't reciprocate what you're saying as a means because they feel like you're attacking them in some way because you're you're just asking questions you're just trying to piece together what they're saying you're trying to get to the bottom of it but as i mentioned they don't reciprocate and they move the goalpost they keep moving it and this is a way of their manipulation to get things their way this is why they do it to get things going their way so they just straight up um outrightly don't reciprocate what you're saying they they have no remorse towards it but it's just a way of them doing their manipulation so that's number one okay number two on the list is they use silent treatment for extended amounts of time they do this so you give in to their means of control similar to the not reciprocating first point they can also feel cornered in this instance so similar to the fact about the reciprocation point where they feel cornered the silent treatment as well they do that when they feel cornered because they don't have the words to say they don't have the answers so they they resort to silence as a means of control to control you so they'll use this silence against you and they'll do it for extended amounts of time man it can go from anywhere for a couple of days if just during the day it can go on for a long time you know and they do this they do this because they're trapped yeah so just to let you know that please press the like and the subscribe button help your brother out it'll take two seconds of your time thank you so we had they don't reciprocate what you're saying and they use silent treatment number three is subtle remarks and body language that indicate belittling and devaluation look closely because in my circumstance i was blind to it and didn't notice it till after the relationship ended i didn't notice these subtle remarks and body language cues that they'd done and they were belittling and devaluing and they do this so you just look out for it because it's very well hidden behind the mask if you understand so just look out for those subtle remarks and body language cues yeah that indicate belittling okay number four is very controlling and will interfere with your work life social life and cause real issues in these areas the drama is not worth it get rid i know i know that might not seem like the best outcome for you now yeah but get out while you're ahead get rid and get get ahead because if they're causing you um trouble and drama in your work life your social life they're constantly pestering you you, 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 you know, this is just very controlling, toxic behaviour, man. And it's best to just get rid, man. Count yourself lucky and get out while you can. Get out while you're ahead, man. But anyway, that's number four. Number five on the list is they're very jealous secretly. Like, for example, you show them your achievements and they're not happy for you. They may not say it, but you can feel it. Also, they dream, they're dream assassins and will plot and scheme to destroy you. Um, destroy your hard work through undermining so what i'm trying to say is yeah they're very jealous so if you just in a conversation said oh look look at look what look at this achievement this certificate that i got or you've done something or you're proud of something some some achievement that you got in your life it doesn't just have to be curriculum level but you're proud of something you just look at it look between the veil look in their eyes they're genuinely not happy for you to be succeeding in any area of life it generally irritates their spirit you know and this is a proper sign for a narcissist yeah like they're genuinely miserable it makes them miserable so this is why they i mentioned that they turn into dream assassins and they'll plot your downfall in those areas so if you wanted to get established in your field or whatever field it is and you wanted to maybe go for a promotion at work or you was you was um trying to further educate yourself um or you were saving for further education, or you were doing something, yeah, they will do everything in their means to prevent you achieving that goal. They don't want you to outdo them. They don't want you to be, to be succeeding because it takes the light off them. And they're, they're just, they're twisted individuals. And like, 
you know, like where your family and your friends may genuinely be happy for you for succeeding in something and advancing in your life. They're miserable about it and they're meant to be your nearest and dearest. And this is a very big sign for a narcissist. So I'll go back over the list. Yeah, Number one is they don't reciprocate what you're saying. And they move the goalpost. Yeah. Number two is they use silent treatment for extended amounts of time. Number three is subtle remarks and body language cues that indicate the billet in. Number four is very controlling, very controlling and will interfere with your work, social life and cause real issues in these areas. Number five is very jealous and secretly. For example, you show them your achievements and they're not happy with you. So it can be anything they're jealous of, but I just use that as an example. So anyway, I hope this, this helps. Look out for the signs of it because these, this is toxic behaviour. And if you understand your worth and your value, you'll realise that you don't need to put up with this because other people who are empathetic, your divine counterpart, someone who's destined to be with you, aren't like this. And this is the universe and God showing you warning signs. And to... to get rid of these individuals while you're ahead so if you stumbled upon this information now then it will be very useful for you or even if it's after a relationship then it will be useful for you in the future so yeah thanks for watching please press the like and the subscribe button and i'm doing one-to-one -one sessions now so you can book those using the link in the description box all right catch you all soon